Trevor Bauer and Rob Manfred sat in the same room and had a conversation. I would have given almost anything to be a fly on that wall. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you today to talk a little bit about baseball. That's what I do. Before we do that, guys, take a moment, subscribe to the channel. It lets you know when new videos come out. We're doing them every day, doing a lot of stuff about college ball and, of course, Major League Baseball. But, guys, let's jump into this right off the bat. Trevor Bauer and Rob Manfred sat in the same room and had a discussion. Now, I was going to do this video right away when I first heard about it, but I wanted to wait a little bit to see if any details came out about it. But nothing's come out about it, which doesn't really surprise me. I don't think Rob Manfred would come out and say, well, here's what we talked about. And I don't think Trevor Bauer is really that type of person either. Although he's very loud and outspoken, I think when someone treats him as a professional and talks with him and, you know, has a good conversation, he's very professional about that. So I don't expect anything to come out. Uh, maybe at some point down the road, something might come up. You know, Bauer might mention something, but... I don't see a lot of stuff coming out about the conversation. Now, I will say this. You guys know that I'm pretty critical and pretty negative about Rob Manfred as the commissioner of baseball. And someone who's been even more critical and even more vocal about it is Trevor Bauer. I mean, he has just been nonstop, relentless, just going at it. I mean, he doesn't hold back. So right off the bat, the fact that Manfred sat down and talked with him, that's that's pretty pretty high praise from me from others that he would do that he I mean he did say he would sit down with any player uh, who wanted to talk with him further and on a one-on-one -on -one situation and he was a man of his words so i respect that and even trevor bauer said that in a tweet that yes i've been critical yes i've been harsh but i'm going to give this guy props because he sat down and had a real one-on-one -on -one conversation with me and we talked things out and it was good and for me to have Bauer say that, that, that is pretty credible. I don't think Bauer ever would say anything that he didn't mean. I, he's the type of guy who, if he feels like you did something wrong to him, he's going to let you know, and he's going to let everybody know. So the fact that he's out here saying, no, this guy, he sat down with me, he talked it out, you know, I don't think they agreed on a lot of things. But once again, you can have respect for someone to take the who took the time to sit down and talk with you and share their point of view if you don't agree on things. I mean that's really how things should work here in America. It should be where yes, you and I may not agree, but we're willing to sit down and have a conversation. You may not sway me to your side and I may not sway you to my side, but when we're all said and done, we can still respect each other, still have enough dignity as human beings to say, "You know what? We disagree." But thank you for taking the time to do that. And that's something that, you know, that's missing in politics especially, but in a lot of things in life that we're, we're missing that out, that we can have that respect for each other while still disagreeing. Now, do I think that major changes are coming because of this discussion? No, no, I don't think so. Do I think that Rob Manfred maybe listened to Trevor and said, okay, I understand where the players are coming from, and maybe I won't push this agenda as much as I was going to beforehand. That That's a real possibility. I mean, he wants to do what's best for baseball. I just don't think he understands what's best for baseball from a fan's perspective and from a player's perspective. He is a lawyer. He is the commissioner. He is a representative of the owners. And I think that he's thinking too much about the owners and not about the fans and in the end, that actually hurts the owners. It does. It'll hurt the owners in the long run. And I think people are starting to realize that. I'm hoping he realizes that. But it is what it is. Now, obviously, I'm sure the topics that came up were the Astros. I have no doubt in my mind that Bauer was saying, hey, look, it, I told you guys beforehand something was up. You didn't listen. Why didn't you? I'm sure Bauer asked why they didn't get suspended, why they didn't get punished. And I'm sure Manfred probably explained uh, some of the reasoning behind th behind all the circumstances, which is also why I don't think that information about the discussion is coming out because that stuff that doesn't need to come out shouldn't come out um, because it's a legal issue. And so I think 
Bauer now is looking, okay, I don't agree with it, but I understand it now. I think talking about all the different rule changes, I think Bauer, you know, he's been very vocal about that. I'm sure he brought that stuff up. And once again, it doesn't change things, but maybe something that Bauer says, maybe a viewpoint that he brings up helps to change the conversation for some of these rules uh, now, now in the present and also in the future. So, you know, once again, Rob Manfred manned up, sat down with Trevor Bauer, the most vocal, outspoken, you know, person against Rob Manfred as commissioner of baseball and talked with him. I give him props for that. That's, that's respectable, respectable. That's, that's a pretty big thing to do. You know, if someone was coming out and talking the way that Bauer talks about Manfred about me, I don't think I would sit down with them and have that conversation because I just don't know that I could do it. So I respect that, you know, do I agree with the things he's doing? No, not at all. I still think the minor league thing is, is stupid. I think that a reorganization and a redoing of minor league baseball that could cost some teams their affiliation. I understand that. I wouldn't be opposed to that. 42 teams, that's ludicrous. That's just ludicrous. Um, the way that the Astros cheating scandal, I think that was handled poorly. You know, you guys have heard me say it over and over again. But that's the way things are. You know, I don't think you can go back and change things. I still think the possibility of them losing their championship could be considered. I don't know that it will be considered, but I think it's something that should have been and still could be. But, you know, there's a lot of things that he hasn't done right. There's a lot of things that Bud C didn't, didn't do right. But as we look down the road, we look back and go, okay, maybe he wasn't as bad as we thought. Um, I'm just kidding. Bud C wasn't very good either. But, you know, it, it's, it's part of that role. It's part of that spot that, you know, it is what it is. And, you know what, I don't think Trevor Bauer is going to be quiet. I don't think this is going to silence him. But I think it might change even his perspective and how he goes about doing things. He'll still be vocal. He'll still be out there. I mean, I love the fact that just the other day he was, you know, signaling his signs to the batter um, as a, you know, as a, you know, troll towards the, the Astros. I love that. I think it's funny. I think it's awesome. I think it's, I think it's a good thing. It's creating conversation for the game of baseball. So it is what it is. I, I think this is a good step for everybody involved. And hopefully this happens more often. And hopefully more players come out and say, yeah. I sat down with Manfred and we had a discussion. I'm not going to break break out what we talked about, but we had a conversation. It was good, and hopefully things move forward in a positive way. So that's my hope. Hopefully we see you know positive effects out of this. Things that benefit the players and especially the fans. You now once again, right now all the decisions are being based around the owners in the short term, and in that long term it's going to hurt the owners. That's long term we're losing fans. I mean. Even right now, the Astros are losing fans. I'm reading story after story of diehard Astro fans who have turned their back on the team. You know, season ticket holders who have canceled their, their season tickets and are now Ranger fans. It's affecting baseball. It really is. But you know what? Right now, the best thing to do is have conversations, talk things out, and figure out the best path forward for baseball. So guys, those are my thoughts. I'm Josh, now you know it all. Thanks for tuning in today. And once again, we got videos coming every day. So hit subscribe so that way you know when a new video comes out. Talk to you guys later.